It's almost Christmas, and I am about to make a chain like that counts down the days until then. So, like, I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's like a chain, and then every day you take off a piece of paper until it's Christmas. So that's what I'm gonna be making. So what you'll need is a ruler, a stapler, scissors, a pencil maybe, and a few sheets of paper, depending on when you make the chain, I guess. So I'm gonna make my chain 25 days. Also, I've got my little hot chocolate here. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna be making mine for 25 days. So I've got a few sheets of paper here and I'm just gonna cut them up into strips until I have 25. And so I usually make the width of one strip like about an inch or so. The width of a piece of paper is eight and a half inches, so I'm gonna try to like, maybe make it a little bit longer than an inch so I can fill about eight strips on a piece of paper. So I'm just gonna like mark where about an inch is on this piece of paper. So I'm gonna do that on both sides until I have just a bunch of little like tick marks about an inch apart on at both sides of the piece of paper. So after you do that, I'm just gonna take the ruler and like draw a line connecting the little tick marks so I know where I should cut. So if you see this desk that I've got, that's new, new to me, it's not new. But my brother, since he has his own apartment or whatever, he bought himself a desk and this is his old one. And so now I have it in my room. And I thought, well, hey, that will hopefully make my YouTube videos a little bit better. I can do this, tell you how to make a chain of paper, which is practically useless, but it's fine. I got this shirt with Snoopy on it. It's like all Christmas themed and stuff. I got this the other day and it's a t-shirt, which would be fine if I lived in like Florida, but I don't live in Florida. So I still wear it. I mean, it didn't stop me from buying it. This is pretty good. So I've noticed a reoccurring theme across pretty much all of my YouTube videos. And that is, if you didn't know me in person, I seem like as boring as a saltine cracker. And so I'm just, I'm trying, cause I think, I like to think that I'm a lot more interesting in person than I seem in my YouTube videos, but we're trying to fix that. I'm, tr I'm trying to be a little more interesting, but we'll see how it goes. I keep forgetting I have hot chocolate here. If I keep forgetting, it won't be hot anymore, so like, I need to stop forgetting. Nobody wants a cold chocolate. So after you have made your paper into a bunch of little strips, now you can just cut them. So my school has been having to go online because like there weren't like a ton of people in my school who actually had COVID, but there were a lot of people who were out of school because they got quarantined for being around someone who had COVID. So we've been doing school online and I have never done that before. It's been interesting because before we've been going to school and having to wear masks and they've told us to sh social distance and stuff like that but now we're doing at home and it's been kind of nice because I get to wake up a lot later than I usually would because I don't have to like go to school and I don't really have to like get ready. I mean, I get ready to some extent. Sometimes I decide to change out of my pajamas and I brush my teeth, that's about it. Usually when I go to school, I would eat breakfast and by breakfast, I mean a bowl of cereal, but I don't really, I haven't been doing that because I don't really mind going without breakfast, usually. I don't know. I'm just weird that way. But I don't think that is weird. I think a lot of people at my school don't eat breakfast. I don't know. My biggest complaint though is that I don't get to really talk to my friends. I mean, technically, I guess I could, but like, whenever I, t 
talk on there, on the Google Meet, then everyone's like, can see you, like everyone can see everybody. So it just kind of makes me not want to do a ton of talking. I also didn't love how a lot of people turn their camera off. Like some teachers tell you to turn it on, and so those classes are fine, but like a lot of people in a lot of my classes just turn their cameras off so you can't really see anybody. So that's kind of boring. Also, at, like in the first few days we've been doing online, I forgot to join one of my classes because I was in my sixth class, like we have seven classes, and I was in my sixth class and then uh, he like gave us the assignment and then he let us end the call. And so I was just working on it. And then I looked at the time and I was like, oh shoot. And so I went to join my seventh hour, but that class already ended. But thankfully the teacher had already told us the day before what we were gonna be doing that day. So I was saved a little bit, but that gave me a lot of anxiety. This is really good. I just wanna like drink this the whole time. <laughs> Also, when we've been doing school online, I keep, I have this issue where I always laugh. Like, I like half the time I have to turn my camera off because I am laughing. Like today in my English class, uh, we had to read these like short stories and she put us into different groups. So we were, me and a few other kids were in a call together and we were going like every paragraph someone new would read and so i read a paragraph and i like started laughing like twice while i was reading it and i was very embarrassed but it was funny so after you have all of your like strips of paper then you can if you want you could color these i usually don't but you can if you want and like one time one year i tried to like write the days, like the days of December, like on the little sheet of paper. So it's like, if you put them in order, then one end of the link will show the date, but I'm not gonna do that. So after you have all these strips, then you can get a stapler and then like make little rings out of your sheets of paper and then staple the ends together like that. And then, like, I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I need to tell you this, but I will anyway. And then you can get the other one. Like, from then on, you can just, like, repeat the process. Just loop it around the other ring and then just staple it on there. And then eventually you'll get through all your strips of paper and then you'll have a little chain. How fun. Also, another thing I like to do is like, since you're drawing the lines so you know where to cut for the sheets of paper, I usually take the side of the strip where you can see your lines. I usually make sure that's on the inside of the ring so you can't see it as much as if it was on the outside, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So yeah. So you just repeat this until you get your chain done. So if you didn't know, Megan Trainer came out with a Christmas album. I'm not sure if you care about that, but I do. It was pretty good. I told my brother about this, my older brother that has never been on my channel. I told him that she came out with a Christmas album and he's like, who's Megan Trainer?" I was like, are you kidding me? So hopefully you know who Megan Trainer is. But anyway, she came out with some pretty good Christmas music. Speaking of Christmas, I don't know what I want for Christmas. I mean, that's fine to not know. I, oh, I never seem to know what I want for Christmas and then like the month before Christmas, I will think of a million things that I want. So I don't know. So after you've done that, you're pretty much done. So, I think that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm kind of surprised you even clicked on this video because like who even cares to make this thing? But I had fun, we were chatting a little bit, but I had fun. I'm glad I made this video. I usually make one of these every year because I'm just like that. And I 
thought it'd be fun to make a video about it, even though I feel like it's not that hard to do this yourself. I don't think you need to watch a video how to do it, but I'm glad you did. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. I hope it's a Happy New Year, better than this year. But anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and or subscribe. And I think that's all I have for now, so thanks for watching. Maybe I'll do another one of these videos next year, even though I now I have a video how to make this thing. Maybe I'll just make one next year for the fun of it. We'll see. Bye.